Hey guys, I'm El, and today I'm going to do my own Voices October TBR. If you don't know, Katie from Katie Loves to Read and I are hosting a readathon next month that is called On Voices October and it's to celebrate and raise awareness about On Voices books and to read at least one On Voices book in October. So I'm going to leave all the information in the description as well as a link to the announcement video so you can know more about this readathon and you can join us hopefully. I decided to read only On Voices books in October which is definitely going to be a challenge because I know I want to read some mainstream books that are all white or all straight but I have to force myself to get out of that bubble to stop reading only those books and it shouldn't be difficult one month in all the time that I've been reading that I'm only going to read on voices and I also have such an interesting list of books here there are so many new books we have a list of books that we compiled in Goodreads with books that are on voices so if you don't know what to read you can always go there and I'm sure you're going to find something that you will like this is going to be my part one of my TBR because I have another video that I'm going to upload this week and that is going to be part two that is going to be more directed to the things I have to read more from you're going to understand more in my next video but here I have 10 books that are from so many different spectrum of the own voices I try to have a very varied selections of books the first book that I want to read is Between the World and Me by Tana Hathi Coates this is a series of essays that the author wrote for his son that confronts the notion of race in the United States and its place in history so I've been reading more and more books about black history it lately and my conception of it has been defied over and over so I know that I will probably never know everything that there is to know about the history of marginalized voices but honestly I can't help but trying like I can't sit here without knowing this thing so I want to learn as much as I can and I want to learn it from the people who know what they are talking about the second book is On the Edge of Gone by Corinne Dubas so she is actually the creator of the Own Voices hashtag and movement now because she wrote this book who has a main character who has autism and she has autism as well I bet it's a really interesting book to read and I've heard good things about it it's a sci-fi or post-apocalyptic book where a comet is going to come to earth and this girl and her mom go into a ship to look for shelter but this ship is going to go to colonize new worlds I love post-apocalyptic books and I feel like it's something that I owe to Corinne Dubas to read her book everything that's happened right now came out because she thought of own voices so yeah I thought it was a great addition to my TBR the next book I want to read is If You Could Be Mine by Sarah Faritan this book takes place in Iran and it's about two best friends one who is absolutely in love with her best friend who is a girl and in Iran is illegal to be a homosexual so she's trying to do everything in her power to be with her best friend and I read This Is How A Crush Should Feel by Sarah Faritan and I really really enjoyed it and I know this book is her debut book I really want to read more of her books especially because she is Irani American and we need more of those voices in literature then I want to read When the Moon Was Ours by Anna Marie McLemore so this book is coming out at the beginning of October it's a magical realism book where two best friends grow up together and they start falling in love the girl is queer and the guy is trans so it's also about their journey accepting themselves and the girl Miel she can grow roses from her wrist and I know people are trying to find her it just sounds amazing I love magical realism it's not like any other genre it's something that makes me forget about all the rules of the world in fantasy books you expect things to go a certain way because of the rules that they give you and in contemporary you expect nothing magical because of the rules of the real world but in magical realism anything can happen and she's actually queer and Latina like the main character and her husband is trans like 
the other main character, so it just sounds like a brilliant story. Then I went to read Labyrinth Lost by Soraya Cordova. So everyone has been talking about this book. It sounds weird, but it sounds good as well. I know the main character is a bruja, which is a witch in Latin America, and she doesn't want to be a witch. So she does a spell to take away her powers, but actually she banishes her entire family. I really want to give it a try, especially because of all the Latin American influences. I know the cover is very similar to the Dia de los Muertos face paint. Then I want to read a book that was on my TBR for September. And and that is Here Comes the Sun by Nicole Dennis Ben. And it's about a girl who has to become a prostitute in order to pay for her sister's private school. And I know there are a lot of other things in this book. This takes place in Jamaica, and I've heard nothing but good things about this book. Another book that was on my TBR this month is Point by Brandy Colbert. This is about a girl who is recovering from an eating disorder when her best friend comes back after being kidnapped for a year. So the main character is black and Brandy Colbert is black. It sounds interesting, it sounds intriguing. I've also read the short story of Brandy Colbert in Summer Days and Summer Nights and it was fantastic. I want to read more from her. Then I'm going to read Two Boys Kissing by David Leviathan. This is about two boys who are trying to break the record for longest kiss. And this is a recommendation from Katie. I don't think I've read a lot of books by David Leviathan, which might sound like a crime, so I really want to see what he does. Then I want to read a new release and that is Not Your Sidekick by C.B. Lee. This is about an Asian American protagonist and this takes place in a world where everyone has superpowers but she doesn't have any superpowers. So the only thing that she wants to do is complete her college applications but for that she has to take this internship but then she finds out that that internship is for the super villain of the town. The main character is bisexual, which speaks my soul. And I want to read more books with bisexual characters. So this book just sounds amazing. And I got it for my Kindle during Bi Visibility Week, which hasn't ended yet. So happy Bi Visibility Week. So the last book I want to read is another book that I'm very excited about, obviously, and that is When Michael Met Mina. And it's about Mina, who is a refugee from Afghanistan, now is living in Australia. And there she meets a boy whose father works for this political party that are against refugees. So with everything happening in the world, I have read a lot of books about refugees, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm not going to say that I'm excited anymore. Anyway, those were the 10 books that I want to read during On Voices October. Hope you join us. Even if you can't read books, you can join us in our discussions in Twitter. We're going to leave all the schedules when we have them. Let me know in the comments if you're going to participate of this real dance. That's everything. Hope you liked this. If you subscribe, and I will see you in the next Bye!